So this is a delicious salmon rillettes recipe, which is just perfect for Christmas. I've got some salmon here, which has been poached in a fish stock and a little bit of vermouth added, and a salmon steak here, which has been poached until it's cooked, but still nice and soft. It's gonna be flaked through in a bowl with some butter, some dill, a little bit of cayenne for a little bit of heat. And in this little bowl, I've got a reduction made from the stock and the vermouth to add that rich flavor. It's gonna be garnished with some lemon and some dill as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do in this bowl, I've got some softened butter, which I'm gonna add. And to the butter, I'm gonna add the cayenne pepper and the dill. So chopped dill and the cayenne. I'm just gonna whip that around until it's quite soft and smooth. Now I'm gonna add the sauce reduction, which has become quite viscous and thick. And that goes. So just bringing the butter, the dill, the cayenne, and the sauce reduction now together until it's quite smooth. Because when I add the fish, I don't want to overwork the fish so I can keep that nice texture. Okay. I'm gonna start with the smoked salmon. Just put these in. And also the salmon steak. As I put the salmon in, I'm just gonna check for bones and skin too, just to make sure there's none left. But it feels really good. No bones to surprise anyone. Okay, now just gently bringing that together with the butter and the fish. It looks great. Riettes is actually a French word that describes a rough meat pate. So I'm gonna put this aside. I've got a smaller bowl, which I'm gonna line with cling film so that my pate is easy to unmold once it's set. So first I'll just line it with this cling film and just tuck it really nicely down into the bowl. Okay, so given that we're gonna invert this rillette, what I put down in the bottom of this bowl will be what happens to be on the top of rillette once it's unmolded. So I'm gonna put some lemon and dill and, and some extra smoked salmon to make a nice garnish. I'll start with some dill, just some sprigs of dill here. And this is where you can get creative and have fun with it. So I'll just line my dill around in the bottom to make it nice and pretty. And then I'll put some lemon. This is just a nice thin slice. That goes next. And then finally, I've got one slice of smoked salmon that's gonna go into the bottom. And just press that down so it's nice and neat. My rillette then gets built in on top of that. I'm gonna use a spatula. And just pack it in nice and carefully. Okay, so I'm just gonna smooth down the top of the rillette just to make that nice. And I'll pop this down and then finish off the molding. This is just easily done by folding in the cling film over the surface of the rillette. Okay, so now it's off to the fridge. Okay, so my rillette is now set. The butter's nice and firm. And now it's time to unmold it, which is really easy since I lined it with the cling film. I'm just going to pop a little plate inside here and then straight upside down. It's popped out really easily. Oh, fantastic. Really pleased. And actually, the cling film itself has given a nice texture around the outside of the rillette. So now I'm just going to serve this up. I'm really pleased with my rillette. The lemon and the dill looks really delicious. I'll be serving these with a few little toasts you can see here. Perfect to serve with Christmas drinks.